What's going on, Queerties? Hello, everyone. And welcome to the Queerties. I'm Queerty Editor-in-Chief Dan Tracer. And I am Mo Love, Mo Money, Mo Queerties, Mo Heart. But you already knew that. We're so excited you're all here. Now, each year, the Queerties honors the very best of LGBTQ media and culture and our community's brightest stars and innovators. The winners are chosen by you, Queerty readers, who cast 1.4 million votes this year. Incredible. With incredible nominees, many of them who are in the building tonight, like Jeopardy's Amy Schneider, drag legends Jackie Beat and Sherry Vine, and is that Willow? I can't tell. It's hard to see. You know, she's wearing so many accessories and shit. You know, just a wig with sunglasses and a bracelet. That's it. Now, now I'm not one to brag. <gasps> well, I am. So what are we bragging about? The look, the face, the body. No, no, not quite. Now, this is a very special year for the Queerties. Is this the year that you dropped me from the skyline like Gaga did at the Super Bowl? Well, no, but, you know, we did cover your Uber. But did you, though? Hmm. Actually, I know. Is this the year of UPN reboots Moesha starring Mo Heart? No, Mo. This is the 10th anniversary of the Queerties. Yes! Oh my gosh, wow. And to think, not that long ago, I wasn't even considered to host these Oscars. Mo, these are the Queerties. Don't ruin it for me. Is that Mo's straight? The Queerties have come a long way from our humble beginnings to our humble present. Uh, we started out in New York at the gay bar industry. Y'all know industry right down the street from therapy, down the block from dysentery. Our first red carpet featured stars like Shangela, and over the years we've had amazing guests like uh, Kathy Griffin, Billy Eichner, and, well, Shangela. She just keeps coming back like the COVID barrier. Mo. It's true. The only thing with more variants is RuPaul's Drag Race. Fact. <laughs> Ten years later, we are going strong, and tonight we celebrate the future. Good, because I'm ready to be done with last year. I mean, who could forget that fateful day when American values were tested? Ah, uh, the U.S. Capitol insurrection? No, when they freed Britney. Ah, got it. So first things first, we want to thank our amazing sponsors yeah. for the night. Yeah. Thank you to Vizzy Hard Seltzer and Sir Vodka for providing us with our drinks tonight. Yeah. And thank you to the National Center for Transgender Equality, the nation's leading social justice advocacy organization, saving lives of transgender people. Yes. I'll make some more noise for them. And family, let's now take a look at some of our amazing nominees. Three, two, one. The best part for me has been being on TV as my, my true self and representing the entire community of, of trans people. Drag should be for everyone. No, I don't necessarily think everybody should be on a stage. <laughs> I want to be a drag queen. What do you see to anyone that says this is not the way superheroes are supposed to be portrayed? I would say you've had your time. If you're happier and more comfortable looking in the rearview mirror, that is where we will leave you, bruh. I thought I fired you. Not that I know of. Oh, that was the other gay guy. I really need to stop getting the two of you confused. Ah! I like it, yeah. That looks cute. Would you identify as crazy rich Asians? No, not at all. It's like, how do you guys maintain your relationship? Keep them from fleeing, you know? <laughs> If you rip away everything, oppression is the business of not respecting one's personhood. I landed on the theme of healing my trauma through my art. Racism has 
fed the crisis from the very beginning. Your actions are killing us. Your words are lies. This meeting is over because it has come to my attention that every single one of you sucks ass. If people felt safe to be who they are, they would be who they are. Welcome to Tales from the Closet, the show about queer people and the closets we come from. I just want to take a quick moment to say that I'm gay. I've been meaning to do this for a while now, but I finally feel comfortable enough to get it off my chest. I just think that representation and visibility are so important. You can be kind of an outcast, but it doesn't mean that you just give up on your dreams. We need to constantly remind ourselves to protect those people in our society that are different, that are beautiful uniquely as themselves. When people tell you your limitations, they're just talking about themselves. A little party in the pony with the glitter. You didn't know, did you? Well, now you do. You're welcome. Oh my gosh, that was amazing.